everybody. Blessings to you. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. We welcome you. I'm so excited to have you today. Listen, there is going to be so much impartation revelation that's going to take you to the next level. Remember, you elevate because of what you revelate. Your revelation leads you up to elevation. I'm so excited to have my friend, Prophet Leon, again. We're going to bring him on in a few minutes, but I want the room to begin to fill up. I need you to get your faith up, get your heart up, your spirit of faith, expectation. Remember, expectation is the mother of miracles. So I want you to give us some hearts and likes, and I want you to begin to tag somebody and share this on your wall. Because let me tell you, when different prophets, men and women of God, mantles come together, there is a multiplication aspect there is a combining anointing. Things begin to shift. And let me tell you, this broadcast today is going to bless your life. If you're ready to receive, say amen. If you're ready to receive from the men of God, from the man of God, Prophet Leon and myself, say amen. Let me tell you, there's going to be impartations and activations in this place. Hallelujah. I know many people are watching from South Africa, from different nations in Africa, from Europe, from Canada. From the United States, let me know where you are watching from, praise God. And in a few minutes, we're going to have the man of God, Prophet Leon, with us. I want to give you some shout-outs. Hallelujah. I want to give some shout-outs here, so let me know where you are watching from. Let me know what country, what city you represent, praise God. And in a few minutes, I will have the man of God, Prophet Leon, up with us. And it's going to be a powerful time. Who's ready for increase? If you're ready for increase, say, I am. If you're ready for increase, say, I am. Hallelujah. I want you to give us some hearts and likes here and let us know where you were watching from before we have the man of God up. Praise God. Let's get the numbers up. Let's get the viewers up. Hallelujah. Zetara, I know we're broadcasting live also from Prophet Leon's page. Praise God. Laura Castilla. Adrian Swana Paul says, Good evening, Dr. Ben and Prophet Leon. Zetara, Zetara, Linda Stump, pray. Please pray for a loved one in Afghanistan wants to come home. Amen. We pray for swift, Lord. Swift justice. Aldi King from South Africa. Praise God. Let us know where you are watching from. Let me tell you what God is about to do today. It's going to be mind-blowing. Have your expectations up. Have your hunger up. Have your faith level up. Of course, what God's doing in this season is unprecedented. Never been seen. Never been done before. Hallelujah. So what God's about to do is going to shift everything in your life. Praise God. All right. Give us another minute before we have the man of God, Prophet Leon, with us. I want you to begin to share this on your wall. We'll give us some hearts and likes and begin to comment below. Tag somebody because we're going to talk about prophetic increase. And let me tell you, there's going to be exponential increase that's going to take place today. Not just additional increase. We're one by one. But there's going to be exponential increase in your life. Every single thing that you do, you touch, you have, you own, you possess, you are partaking of, you are a part of. It will increase like never before. Can I get a hallelujah? So let me know where you are watching from. Praise God and give us some hearts and likes and share. Because this broadcast is going to be a blessing for your life and for your family. Can I get an amen? Well, this is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. I am honored to be your host today. Uh, and I'm so blessed. Uh, to have you join us. And let me tell you, this broadcast and every single thing that we do, it is not low level. It's not shallow. Every single thing that we do is appointed and anointed by God. That is the responsibility of prophets, of prophetic people. And let me tell you, when we bring in the man of God, Prophet Leon, something's going to shift. Can I get an amen? So praise God, everybody. I want you to give a mighty hand, a round of applause, hearts and likes. Let's welcome the man of God, Prophet Leon Dupria, all the way from South Africa. Praise God. Prophet, how are you doing, sir? Thank you so much, Dr. Ben. Good to be with you and good to be with everybody on here and on your uh, live stream. It is it is going amazing. Thank you for the honor and the privilege to Absolutely. to be on. Wow, Prophet. Well, you know what? Uh, last time we did this together, I was with you there in your home studio. And uh, we yes. had a very powerful time. And we we're talking about prophetic realms. And yes. uh, you know, today... I felt that as I'm hosting you on our show and as I'm hosting you on, on our channel, I felt that I want to talk about prophetic increase. So we're going to take it to the next level. 
Hey Amen. No, look, look, it's going to be amazing. I believe um, what, you know, I was, as I was in prayer today, I heard the Lord saying to me, you know, uh, we, we, there was um, dispensational moves of the restoration of the gift of the prophet and the gift of the apostle. And and uh, many said that we're coming into the day of the saints where it is now the full body at work. But there has still been a bit of a delay when it comes to the prophetic gift and the prophetic anointing. And I feel many prophets, well, especially in South Africa, but many prophets have been in hiding for many years where the Lord is beginning to release young prophets now and this where the lord is coming upon a lot of young prophets and i believe a lot of people that are watching us now uh, a lot of people that are on are prophetic they're inclined towards the prophetic that is why they're watching that is why they're followers of your ministry my ministry and i want everybody on here uh, to just let us know with a fire emoji or just to say i'm prophetic i'm apostolic and uh, but there's a prophetic emergence and a resurgence coming where god is going to raise up a lot a lot of um prophets that were in obscurity absolutely well i'm in agreement with that prophet of course i'm not sure if you see my book here the new breed i had a 21 day revival and in that 21 day revival the lord spoke to me about the new breed that god's raising up a new breed of prophets and apostles people that have never been seen before so that word is for you god is bringing you up out of the cave and let me a prophetic gift, a prophetic unction can call you out of your misery, can call you out and will bring you into the future. So listen, people of God, before we go any further, once again, I want to just remind you to share and to give us some hearts and likes because me and the prophet, we're going to flow and there's going to be impartation, revelation, activation. And at the end, we're also going to be ministering to a number of you personally. So if you're ready for your life to be changed, say amen. If you're ready to receive, say amen. Well, listen, people of God, I felt to do this broadcast, this title called Prophetic Increase, because we really are in a season of increase. And of course, prophet, uh, you know, I love how God's moving upon you and your ministry in South Africa, such a trailblazer, such a pioneer in grace. And, uh, you know, South Africa, the tip of the continent of Africa. It's not an easy thing, but we believe, I know, we know that the fire of God is gonna flow from Cairo all the way to Cape Town and Cape Town to Cairo and to the nation of the earth, amen? And uh, I just speak to the floods in Durban, to the floods, to the weather patterns in South Africa to cease now in Jesus' name and let there be a release of the angelic. Someone say amen. However, concerning prophetic increase, I believe right now we're in a season where God is accelerating. God is increasing. God is raising up the no names, the nobodies to become somebody. And he's raising up in this time and in this hour. I want to go to a verse quickly. It says in Psalm 9, excuse me, Isaiah chapter 9, 7. And the Bible says there will be no end to the increase of his government and of peace. There will be no end to the increase. Someone say increase of his government and his peace. There is an no end. There is no end to the increase. That word increase in the Hebrew means rabbah, which means to become much greater or many or to become great. In this season, God wants you to increase. Did you know that Joseph in Hebrew, his name is Yusuf. Yusuf in Hebrew means he increases. So it doesn't matter what season you're in, God's about to increase in your life. God's about to raise you up. And the giftings, the mantles, impartations, the things of God are going to increase. Someone said, amen. Your finances are going to increase. You know why? Because his kingdom, his government is a kingdom of increase. The Bible says in Luke 2.52 that Jesus grew. He increased in stature and wisdom and maturity. Are you ready for your stature, your influence, your ministry, your reach to expand like never before? But here's the thing, many people do not know how to increase. It's because they do not know how to decrease. John the Baptist said, he must increase and I must decrease. Your increase is sometimes found in the decrease. And if you've been decreasing, if you've been going down, if you feel like you've been in a pit, in a prison, in Potiphar's house, in betrayal, in scandal, in shame, and name, and blame, if you feel like you've been in a pit, then get ready for your decrease to increase. And let me tell you, the prophetic is increasing across the earth. And God raising up the bar and the level and the standard of the anointing of prophetic authority and prophetic accuracy and that's why i felt as i'm bringing my friend prophet uh leon here i felt that we needed to talk about prophetic increase because things are increasing like never before so buckle your seat belts hold on to your seats get ready because things are about to increase prophet leon i want to just share what's on your heart concerning this topic this season this realm of prophetic increase go yes. ahead and 
Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lim. Uh, you look, it is when you, um, you know, uh, when you gave the title prophetic increase, I was, uh, I didn't really know where to go. And then all of a sudden my spirit just exploded with, with, with words. And, um, and, you know, I think it is in Job 8 to verse 7, the Bible says, though your beginning was small, that your end shall be great. And in one translation it says, shall greatly increase. Uh, you know, and that is what I'm beginning to prophesy over you right now. It doesn't matter how your beginning is. It is about how you end. But I'm going to give uh, in, I want to give you a short prophetic message. And I want to encourage exactly what, what, what uh, Pastor Ben said is that, uh, you know, this is a prophetic live stream. It is not a teaching live stream. It is not a pastoral live stream. It is not an evangelistic live stream. It is a prophetic live stream, which means that listen with the ear to hear, uh, listen or see, watch with eyes to see. You know, Jesus said in Matthew chapter number 13, he said, the mysteries of the kingdom is given to you and it is not given to those who are on the outside. So there are people who are on the inside that the mysteries of the kingdom and the secret and hidden things has been given to them. And there are others to whom it has not been given. And this is in relation to those who are in the kingdom if we study that scripture theologically. But it is also in relation if we take that scripture prophetically. You see, scripture must be read in, can be read in many a variety of ways. You can you can look at the Hebrew word in, in the phonics, in the sound, the prophetic imagery, the numerical side of the words. And, and uh, when you read scripture, there's a prophetic and there's a revelation. There's an there's a exegetical way to look at it. But when you look at a prophetic way, there are people that has the ability to have entered into the kingdom. Now, the kingdom is demonstrated on the earth. There are many Christians that are not in the kingdom. There are Christians that are saved, but they are not in the kingdom. Their eyes haven't been opened for revelation. So the spirit of wisdom and revelation gives you the ability where God comes and he says, I want to give you uh, uh, the mysteries of the kingdom. But there are others who just, they are not allowed to see it. They are not privy to what we call prophetic rights and prophetic privileges. You see, when you are in a prophetic and an apostolic church, you have the prophetic privileges and prophetic rights, legal rights that God has given and granting you to, uh, to that is favored. It's like, it's, you know, we like the saying to say that uh, God doesn't favor, God definitely favors. And uh, one of the people he favors is the apostolic and the prophetic. The Bible says that he will do nothing unless he reveals it to his servants, the prophet. He said, shall I do everything? anything unless uh, or shall I do anything or hide anything from my prophet Abraham uh, you know so we see the incredible role of the prophetic in the uh, church and in the body of Christ I was challenged by somebody very influential uh, uh, that said a uh, very very influential very big minister that said the prophets are not relevant for today and prophets are not relevant for the church and listen uh, that means that we have to remove Jesus the prophet you see uh, uh, Jesus was the greatest prophet who ever lived and um, people don't even know there's over 85 prophets in the Bible um, if we just get into the prophets in the New Testament, but listen, you are here for prophetic increase. I believe as the world is seeing turmoil, there is a Goshen that God has for his people. There's a Goshen, there's a place of promise. And as I minister on this word, and I wonder, uh, like I said, the word that I have is, is, um, it's going to be a little bit loaded. I want you to listen with an ear to ear, but there are prophetic keys that's going to be dropped in there that I know is going to bless many of you. Though your beginning was small, your latter end shall greatly increase, which means that it doesn't matter where you are right now. There's an end that God has for you. If you haven't died yet, if you're still alive and breathing and you're still watching this live stream, your end will be greater and shall be more increased than what your beginning was. Uh, and I'm speaking about property. The Lord spoke to me about property and especially land. Dr. Lim, do you know how many scriptures in the Bible, when you read, you know, a lot of times we read the word biasly and uh, uh, you know, I was challenged the one day just to read the word in relation to land and you see every promise that God gives almost there's land attached to it if you look at Abram Isaac Jacob it's always land 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 why because with land you don't need to do any spiritual warfare you don't need to if once you own a property you don't have to go cast out devils you don't have to bring down principalities you are the owner you are the landlord you are the lord of that property which means that there is no right for any principality a lot of Christians want to go onto land and pray against this and pray against these spirits just buy the land you know so so God is in his promises land and property for many 
people I believe that property is going to be given. I have a, I, I made a vow, you know, uh, just before I get into a short word that I want to, want to release, but I was, uh, we were in a bit of trouble about it two years ago. Not trouble, I was just in a, in a, in a rough patch with a ministry who were persecuted all over it and, and, uh, and I made a vow and I asked the Lord, I said, you know, I need four things and I wasn't in financial trouble per se, I wasn't in, but I just, I needed four things and uh, one of the things was very, very expensive. It was in relation to land, it was in relation to property. And I made the vow in January, uh, last year, January. And I said, I said to the Lord, I said, if I get these four things, I will do for you. One, two, three. Now, these, this is a prophetic secret that a lot of people don't know how to get it. The King David says, he said, I will repay my vows for the day where you delivered me out of my trouble. So there's a way that God can bring you out of trouble. When you make a vow to him, just make sure that you pay that vow. But you will be amazed how God answers a vow. And I wrote four things down. I got a journal here, one of my prophet's journals, and I write in there. And I put a ridiculous thing down, uh, which was basically impossible. And God met it more than what I answered within two months it would have got what i've asked would have cost me maybe uh, 30 years of payments down and it was paid cash within two months amongst many other things and now i have to fulfill my side of the vow so uh you know but god can deliver you with what we call the prophetic secrets of a vow uh i want us to go to go with me to go with me to uh to one john chapter number i want to see how to start this because i want to speak to you about increase one john chapter number 20 verse uh, sorry one john chapter number two verse 20 go for to one john two verse 20 and uh i'm gonna be i i like i said i don't want to i want to make sure that i can get this revelation to drop so i want you to listen really carefully and i see a lot of people are online right now uh but let us know while we're talking just how many people are watching with you and where you're watching from just for the sake for us uh, we can see comments on both sections on on pastor lim's uh page and on my page and uh, let us know how many people are watching with you and where are you watching from or what country are you watching from and that'll be really a blessing but go through the one chapter number two verse 20 this is going to bless you listen to this but you have an anointing I want you to remember this, an anointing from the Holy One. You have an anointing. Now let's go to 1 John chapter number 27. So uh, 1 John chapter number 2, verse 27. So same chapter, just go to verse 27. So remember, verse 20 says, but you have an anointing. Verse 27 says, but the anointing which you have received from him abides in you. So here we have a clear difference between an anointing and the anointing. I want you to take note of this because the Bible specifically differentiates these two phrases, an anointing and the anointing. And the Spirit of the Lord ministered to me and said, many of my people are operating under an anointing and not the anointing. The Bible says it is the anointing that shall break and destroy the yoke. In Isaiah, I think it is Isaiah uh, 10 verse 27, and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing, not because of an anointing. So 1 John 2 verse 20 says that we have an anointing. And then in 1 John 2 verse 27, it says the anointing of the Holy Spirit that uh, which you have received from him, but the anointing of the Holy One, which you have received from him. So we see two realms, an anointing and the anointing. An anointing and the anointing. Many people operate under what we call an anointing. An anointing is a portion. It is, for example, um, people that are operating under a man of God, which is which is where we all start and we all aspire. And I believe to be a servant all the days of my life. I connect to mentors. I connect to fathers. Um, I connect to men of God that carries the anointing, but you receive an anointing. I have seen uh, people around me that receive an anointing without tapping into the anointing. You see, Elisha asked Elijah, he says, he said, uh, he says, give me a double portion of your spirit. And he received a double portion. And we see him taking the mantle and he goes to the Jordan River after Elijah have ascended. Now, just for me to touch on a subject of ascension. Uh, another thing, Dr. Lim, that the Lord said to me is that the, that he's going to allow his people or he's going to require of his people to really enter into a moment of prayer uh, for this next two, three years. You know, the Lord spoke about recession. We're going to get into prophecy and, and, and what the Lord is saying and so on after the words. So I don't want to get too much in that. 
but his people need to learn how to break through a realm of prayer to enter into a place of ascension. And that realm that they have to break through is called stamina. A lot of people have lacked prayer stamina. They don't have the ability to sit into a place and pray until they break through with what we call prayer stamina, spiritual stamina that gives you the ability and the fortitude to break through and break through a flesh realm. And once you break through, you go into a place of ascension. Once you are ascended, it is the place where prophets live. The prophets came from a high place and they were coming down from the heel of God, a place of ascension. Jesus ascended and he gave gifts to men. So in the place of ascension, you find gifts. We see Moses on the mountaintop. We see Jesus transfigured on the mountaintop in Matthew 17. We see, we see everything taking place in a place of ascension. That is where spiritual gifts is for you. That is the place. Once ascension takes place, then a throne comes. Once we are seated with him in heavenly places like him and seated with him, so we are enthroned with him and then we come down to ministers. So it is. it changes everything and prophets live in a place of ascension. But the Lord said to me, he wants his people and take his people into a high place. Do you see the difference between Caleb and, uh, and Joshua and the other spies was that Caleb and Joshua saw the giants as grasshoppers, but the other 10 spies saw the enemy as giants. There was no difference in the people they saw. There was a difference of perspective, uh, of perceptive, of, of perspective, of perception. There was a difference of height. So the others saw themselves low because they were in a low place. Uh, while Caleb and Joshua saw themselves high, so they saw the enemy small. You see, your victory is locked up in the ability to ascend and to break through in prayer. So, and that requires spiritual stamina. But uh, uh, so an anointing and the the anointing. How do I, how do I explain? So Elijah, Elisha, Elijah, Elisha, Elisha, I got the mantle from Elisha. He went to the river Jordan and he said, where is the Lord God of Elijah? And he took the mantle and he struck the waters. Now that tells us that he was crying out, where is the Lord God of Elijah? He wasn't crying out for where is Elijah? He said, I want to know Elijah's source. Because Elijah was somebody who carried the anointing. And then Elijah produced somebody who was moving in an anointing. You see, once you move in an anointing, you are submitted under somebody and you carry what we call a borrowed anointing. But then you have to tap into their source to carry the anointing for the moment that when you are sent out or you do the work of the ministry, that you don't need to be with them right next to one another, but you can be like the disciples who had Jesus leaving and they could carry on the work. We see Joshua uh, serving Moses. We see Moses in the glory cloud of God and, and in the tabernacle meeting the Lord and when Moses left to go minister to the people Joshua stayed behind so Joshua was saying I'm looking for the source I'm looking for the anointing you see when you carry the anointing you have the ability to produce an anointing when you produce an anointing it is where you produce sons and you have people that are operating under your anointing but then they must graduate to a place called the anointing now there's these two realms an anointing and the anointing I hope you guys are, 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 are understanding what I'm saying the aim is to say, listen, I'm operating under an anointing, meaning I'm operating under the anointing of a man of God, but I want to find their source because there's a blessing once you can find out what is the secrets that that man is doing to reach God. Mo Joshua looked at Moses and he saw Moses speak to the Lord. He saw Moses seeing the form of the Lord. He was waiting outside. He saw the communion. He saw the fellowship. Uh, we see Samuel uh, being taught by Eli how to speak to God, how to answer the Lord back. Uh, uh, so they all went to the source. But then we look at a man called Saul and Saul the Bible says that Samuel said to Saul, go to the go to the hill of God and the prophets will come from a high place and the spirit of the Lord shall rush upon you and you shall be changed into another man and you shall prophesy with him and etc. And that happened, but it was only partial. You see, the spirit of the Lord came upon Saul and then lifted from him, but it was only with him in the company of prophets because Saul hated the anointing. Whenever David would worship around Saul and play with Saul and the demons would deliver him, Saul would try to kill David. Saul hated the anointing. But yet the Spirit of the Lord, the Bible says that when David was anointed as king, that the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. And then it says the Spirit of the Lord came upon David. So an evil spirit came upon Saul. 
when the Spirit of the Lord departed and the Spirit of the Lord came upon David that same day when David was anointed. And we see the, the transference, the exchange taking place of position. But the Spirit of the Lord came upon David and the Bible says to never depart from him. But yet the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. Because David was somebody who sought the face of God. He sought the source. So you have an anointing and then you have the anointing. And I want to, when you have the anointing, you have the ability to, to see the God or to have a relationship with the God of a man of God instead of just be dependent upon a person only for breakthrough. And we understand prophetic destiny. We understand prophetic carriers and, 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 and graces. I, as I said, I, I stand here, I imitate. The Bible says, imitate those who have inherited the promises before us through faith and patience. Be imitators of those. So I have followed men of God. I mean, I have, I have followed every, every man that has an anointing upon them because I am hungry for the anointing. I want to read their books. I want to get impartation from them. I want them to lay hands on me. Uh, but I want to know their God. I want to know, you know, the Bible says, Paul said these words. He says, I pray that my God shall supply all your needs. A lot of people have a different revelation of God that will determine their their um, their income. It'll determine their supply, your revelation of God. So I want you to go with me to, 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 uh, to, to um, Ezekiel. Chapter number 28, verse, let's go to Ezekiel chapter number 28, verse 13. I want to explain to you the realm of the anointing. So we have an anointing where a lot of people are operating under, meaning they have to go to church to get refilled. They have to go, to, when I, they have to go on a Sunday to get recharged, or they have to be in a conference full of fire, and then they, they're like up there, but then it begins to wean down and wean down, wean down. Let me give you an example, Morris Cerello. Many of you would know Morris Cerello. He came to South Africa. He did a miracle crusade, the incredible crusade, in a place called Soweto, and it was going to be like a three-month campaign or 12-week, 10-12-week campaign, and he came to a group of pastors, a he raised all of them up, uh, did like a week of training with them, imparted to them Morris Cerullo's incredible gift of impartation, laid hands on them, told them how to pray for the sick and etc. Morris Cerullo went to the crusade, the campaign that he had, thousands of people, tens of thousands of people were there, and the sick began to get healed, and he would send, so as he would be on the stage, he would send all the pastors and leaders into the crowds, and these guys would go in and lay hands on the people operating under Morris Cerello's anointing, and I want to make this clear, they were operating under the anointing, and they had an anointing. So they had a portion of somebody who knew the source. So they caught a portion of that mantle. So the moment they would think that that is now their anointing, they'll be deceived, because they're operating under what we call a borrowed anointing. So as they are ministering there, Morris Cerello left, and he went to America, and they still carried on for six weeks, seven weeks for the campaign, and people didn't even know that Morris Cerello left. They thought he was still there, but because these people were operating under his anointing. And when the campaign was all over, some of them went and started ministries, but those ministries only carried on for two or three months, some maybe a year, and the anointing began to wean down because they only had an anointing. They never had the anointing. They had the anointing, the borrowed anointing. And uh, you need to understand your time. In ministry, you need to understand your time when God sends you out. We have a lot of people. They leave before it is their time. And they think the anointing they're operating under is their anointing when, in fact, it is a borrowed anointing. And uh, uh, I want you to look at this. So what is the difference between an anointing and the anointing? I want to use an image to explain the anointing. In Ezekiel chapter number 28, verse 13. Let me, let me just go there on my side. Ezekiel 28 verse 13, and this is speaking about, uh, this is speaking about Lucifer. Um, this is speaking about Lucifer, and this is all about increase, eh? So, uh, uh, Ezekiel chapter number 28 verse 13 says the following, and, the, and many of you will know this, but the, but the Bible says, the Lord says, you were in Eden, the garden of God. Speaking about the image of Lucifer, um, comparing with the law of double reference with the king of Tyre. Okay, so even though it's the king of Tyre, it's also speaking about Lucifer. You were in the Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was your covering. The sardius, the topaz and diamond, beryl, onyx and jasper, sapphire, turquoise, emerald with gold. The workmanship of your timbrels and pipes was prepared for you on the day you were created. Now listen to this, verse 14. You were the anointed cherub who covers. You were 
the, not an anointed cherub. You were the anointed cherub who covers. The word cover there is what we call memshak. Uh, sorry, the word anointed and covers, it's like a combination there. It is what we call mimshak, the mimshak anointing, meaning that Lucifer carried an anointing that was a covering over the whole of heaven like this. He covered heaven and he covered many other angels. He was the closest to God. He covered all of heaven. He was his second in charge, if I can say it like that, as a two I see, as a created being. Yet he was envious and jealous for a spot which was not yet his, but he had the anointing, an anointing that covers. And now this is the cult, what we call the anointing of Mimshak. It is the anointing of expansion and the anointing to increase. It is the anointing that covers others. You see, it is the anointing that comes upon worldly music artists that the moment they sign a contract, many of them do uh, rituals, many, as many as, as has been exposed right now the last few years in the media and the US and many of them would do rituals and I think it is at Super Bowl or uh, New Year's Eve and they have all these rituals and stuff like that. But they sign contracts, but what are they receiving? They're receiving what we call a mimshak anointing which Satan still carries. He gives them a realm of mimshak which is an anointing that spreads fast, an anointing of expansion, an anointing of increase. And the moment they do it, their music industry expands and spreads around the world. Yet the church loses the key of Mimshak and the church is releasing albums and doing this, but it's spreading nowhere because Satan has taken that. And the Lord said to me, I will be releasing back the anointing of Mimshak to my people to expand and to increase and to be lifted higher. That nations, even though their beginning was small, their end and their latter end shall be greatly increased. So I want to I carry on because I just want to drop this revelation to drop. It is what we call the takeover the anointing. The anointing to take over wherever you are. It doesn't matter in what country, what nation you are right now. We have the ability. I can sit in my office and minister to the United States. I can sit in my office and minister to any country. In no time has there ever been a greater time or no, 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 nowhere ever has there ever been a greater time for increase and mimshak. It is the anointing that expands. It is the anointing that covers. That the moment that once this anointing comes on you, people will know that you are not operating under an anointing, but under the anointing anointing. The anointing means you got it from the source and God gives you the ability to become a covering for many others who will now operate under an anointing and they'll move out under an anointing, under your anointing. And uh, and the Lord said to me, I'm going to lift up people. So for example, uh, 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 Mimshak, let me, let, me, let me explain to you Mimshak uh, where there was an increase, meaning that Jesus started with 12 disciples and he took over the world. Mimshak, that Acts, I think it is in Acts 17 verse 2, it says that those who change or turn the world upside down has come here also. What happened there? Mimshak took place. Uh, we see in, um, uh, in fact, uh, go, with me to, go with me to Deuteronomy chapter number 6, and this is just a verse that the Lord whispered to me right now as we came on here. Deuteronomy chapter number 6 verse 10, and this is a prophetic promise for you, and I want you to remember this again. Mimshak anointing, the anointing to expand. Listen to this. So it shall be when the Lord your God brings you into the land of which he swore to your fathers, to Abram, Isaac, and Jacob, to give you, now this is a promise for this year as the Lord ministered to me, to give you large and beautiful cities which you did not build. What is happening? Mimshak. Bring you large and beautiful cities that you did not build. Houses full of good things which you did not fill. Houses full of good things, luxurious things. God wants you to live in a place of overflow, in a realm of plenty. I always say, listen here, God wants you to be blessed. He wants you to be prosperous. He wants you to have the best of the best. Here he says, I will give you houses that you did not build that is full of good things. One translation says plenteous things, the best things which you did not fill, hewn out wells, which you did not dig, wells of revival, things meaning you will reap where you have not sown. We're going to reap revivals, prophetic gifts, apostolic gifts, evangelistic gifts are going to rise up, even young people, they're going to, re and you're going to reap finances where others have sown before you. You're going to dig, or you're going to reap or open up wells, which you have not dig, vineyards and olive trees, which you did not plant. When you have eaten and are full. Now, you know, Go with me to, let's go to Genesis 26, 
Genesis 26, verse 13. And I hope you're catching this, this word. Uh, Genesis 26, verse 13. Let me... I'm operating... I'm working on a Bible here that doesn't have the tabs. So, uh, Genesis 26, verse 13. Listen to this. I want to show you again the anointing, prophetic anointing to increase the memshak to expand, to increase, that covers. It's the takeover anointing. Once you taste this anointing, it will cause your wings to spread. You see, when this anointing was on Lucifer, Lucifer had, it was like wings and he covered. Everywhere he was, he covered. The only thing higher than him was God. He was over all the other angels. He was the one that led heaven into worship. Yet he envied that, but it, was, it is the anointing, it is the Mimshak anointing that expands, that takes over, that covers. Now listen to this, Genesis 26 verse 13. The man Isaac began to prosper and continued prospering until he became very prosperous. In the King James it says this, uh, the man Israel began to be great until he continued to be great, until he was very great. And we see three things here. He began, he continued, and he, he, he became very great. We see with the prosperity, he began to prosper, he continued to prosper until he became very prospering. There must be a continuing before there, becomes, before there comes a becoming. You see, people can say, I am, uh, I am prospering, but have you become the embodiment of prosperity? Many people can say, I am sowing here, I'm doing this, I'm giving that, but have you become the embodiment to say that I am prosperity, I am pros prosperous, meaning that when people look at you, they see prosperity. When the kings would look at Isaac and they would look at Abraham, they asked them and begged them to leave the country because they were greater than the kings. The king came to Isaac and says, please just leave for you're greater than us. And the Bible says he had more, it says that he, he, had, uh, he was very prosperous for he had possessions of flocks and possessions of herds and a great number of servants. So the Philistines envied him. But before Genesis 13, in Genesis 12, it says Isaac sowed in that land and reaped in the same year. And in fact, we see here it was a second famine. He was in, in a moment of famine. He sowed and it activated what we call the Mimshak anointing the prophetic anointing for increase. A lot of people ask us, but how do I get blessed? And I can give principle of the principle of the principle uh, and say, you know, I honored you or I work hard here and I did this, and but I cannot negate the key of where my wife and I sold ourselves out of poverty and it brought a prophetic increase. It brought Mimshak to come upon our lives. Uh, uh, it, has, it had the anointing to cover. It had the anointing to spread. Mimshak is so powerful that when Lucifer operated in Mimshak, he had the ability to deceive one third of the angels and split heaven. That is how powerful Mimshak is. God gave Abraham Mimshak. What did he say to Abraham? He says, he said to Abraham, he said, uh, he said, Abraham, Abram, before he, his name was changed to Abraham, when Melchizedek was speaking to Abraham, he said, Abram, uh, the, the, the phrase goes like this. It's in Genesis 14, I think. Maybe, David, you can just uh, give me, or 17. It says, uh, he says these words. He says, Abram of God, where the Bible everywhere uses God of Abram, Isaac, and Jacob. We see the, the words being turned around here, and it says God, Genesis 17, God of Abram, which means the roles have shifted because we see that in that moment, Abram gave Melchizedek a tithe of all. And Melchizedek only gave him water, uh, sorry, wine and bread. But yet Abram gave, Abram gave him a tithe of all. And the Lord is saying, listen here, the roles have switched here, meaning it's now Abram of God, not God of Abram. And I hope you're listening with a prophetic ear and listen and watching with a prophetic eye. People, as I said, these are mysteries that are given to those who are inside, not to those who are outside. So those who are outside that might be listening might not be able to understand the spiritual uh, things we are, we are opening up here. God of Abram. Then he goes on, he says, possessor of heaven and earth. Possessor of heaven and earth. He says that about Abram, not God. He says, Abram of God, you are, Abram, you are. Possessor of heaven and earth. But where is this inscription, Leon? Well, the Bible says when the saints of old have died, they went to a place called Abram's bosom. So Abram literally 
received real estate in heaven because he received an anointing of taking over of expansion of real estate of increase because of a simple principle of a tie that he, and we see everything connected to the thing that moves the heart of man the most which is finances prophetic increase and the lord said to me he's going to bring prophetic increase to many that are watching to those of you that are saying I'm connected. There's a Mimshak anointing that will come upon your life. The anointing to expand, to cover and to take over and to go from a little one to a great nation. To be given the nations, even as King David says, Lord, give me the nations. I ask of you. Uh, uh, Job 8 verse 7 says, Though my beginning, your beginning was small, your end shall be, your latter end shall be greatly increased. And I prophesy this over your life. It does not matter what happened in the 2020 recession or the 2020 uh, situation with the with with the C19. It doesn't matter what is hap- what happened during those times. There's a restoration and a place of Goshen that is coming to God's people that's going to bring a place of prosperity like you haven't seen from September this year. God is shifting things financially for his people that is going to move in a direction but be in a place where you can be able and readily receive the mimshak anointing wow my god my god prophet that was deep that was so rich i have never heard of the mimshak anointing let me tell you i've never heard of the mimshak anointing and that that word that revelation is so rich if you're receiving that right now say amen let me tell you that was so deep so rich prophet i received that for myself You know, it reminds me here in the book of Genesis, God says, be fruitful, multiply, and subdue the earth. Be fruitful, multiply, and have dominion. That's three different realms. And even in this season, that take over anointing, that dominion, you will subdue everything, every Goliath. Remember, David himself, he first slayed the bear, and then the lion, and then the Goliath. So there's an increase. It's stepping stones. All of your haters, your critics, every single In fact, in you- fact, the Mimshak was so strong on King David that when he took out Goliath in one day, this is the expansion, the anointing of Mimshak, in one day, he got the king's daughter, he became best friends with the king's son, and he was given lands and properties just in one day. My goodness. And th- there comes to be a climactic time, prophet. There comes to be a time, in a sense, where you're building up for that, and you take over. And it's going to be suddenly, and people think, that it's just a one night thing or it happened over overnight, but it didn't. It took place in the secret place. Like the prophet said, you were operating under an anointing and then eventually it shifted. The role shifted. Some say shift. It transitioned suddenly where you had the anointing. You became the embodiment. You carried that mantle. And let me tell you right now, things are going to shift. The Bible also says that David had victory wherever he went. He was unstoppable. Somebody say, I am unstoppable in this season. Doesn't matter whether it's the winter, the spring, the summer, uh, the fall. Every season, you will be unstoppable, and your increase will go from glory to glory. You know, prophet, I'm so blessed by the word that you shared because the Mimshak anointing is unstoppable. And the Bible here says that the Philistines envied him, which means that the more you take over, the more people are going to envy you, but they cannot do a thing. They cannot sabotage. They cannot derail. They cannot delay because it's unstoppable. It's the will of God. Look at the Acts church. In the book of Acts, the Acts church began to spread out like wildfire. And eventually there was a realm where in the book of Acts, it says many were being added on daily. And then it began to shift to many were multiplied. Your increase, the prophetic increase coming today on your life is about to skyrocket. It's about to exponentially grow and increase everything you touch. God's going to give you land. There's going to be multiplication, which means it is also a quantum leap and a quantum physical glory. I want to say a few things, prophet, because I believe here are five keys that unlocks your increase right now. Here are five keys that unlocks your increase. And let me tell you, prophet, everything that you said, the spiritual stamina, I'm even writing notes here, spiritual stamina and the Mimshak anointing. My goodness, God's about to expand your coverage. God's about to expand your reach. He's about to expand your wings. You're about to have greater authority, greater motherhood, greater fatherhood. You're about to have greater influence in the name of Jesus. But uh, here's five keys that unlocks your increase. Number one, the first thing is persecution and suffering. Persecution and suffering unlocks your increase. Persecution and suffering causes you to go up. It causes you to expand like never before. The second thing that unlocks your increase is the obedience to God's word. 
When you obey, God begins to release the payback. When you obey, your obedience begins to unlock things. So the first key that unlocks increase, undeniable, unstoppable increase, is persecution and suffering. Because when you carry the cross, God will release heaven. God will release resurrection. How can you ascend if you have not even died at the cross? So number one is persecution and suffering. Number two is obedience to God's word. You need to obey in every little thing, every small thing. Be faithful with the little. The third thing is your worship and your intimacy, your prayer life. Because how can God increase you in public if you have not been increased in private? And it's in that place of private secret prayer between you and the Lord in the closet and the prayer cave. That is the hidden place before the door of the oven is opened. Too many people want premature promotion, premature public ordination. You want premature public commissioning, public honor. But stop pursuing the premature things. Be mature in the secret place with God in the womb of prayer. And watch God raise you up with unstoppable blessing. The fourth key that will unlock your supernatural increase. Somebody say increase. Is honoring the anointing that's before you. Let me tell you, prophet. After I came back from South Africa, everything in my life increased. And I knew that there was a grace, a measure I received from you. And just from the land of South Africa, I know it. Because when I returned back, things began to shift. And let me tell you, sometimes you will not increase until oh. or unless you come into contact with a man or a woman of God. Because they carry atmosphere. Prophet Leon carries a grace. South Africa, which is one of my favorite countries, all right, has a grace there and open heavens. So whenever I go to different countries, cities, states, and nations, realms, things begin to shift in my life because there's something that I need to come into agreement with and receive. So to amen. So that is how you increase. You honor the anointing of the presence. And it doesn't mean you're insecure. It doesn't mean you are trying to compete. It means that you are an honorable vessel. So therefore you give honor. And when you give honor, you reap a double harvest and glory. And of course, the fifth thing is the gift of sowing. All right, when a man or woman God is at a certain level and you want to increase to where they are, you sow, and that brings you up with expedient supernatural acceleration. Things quicken. What would have taken 12 years will take 12 months. What would have taken 12 months will take one month, and that is the power of increase, that mimshak anointing, where God will begin to spread out your wings. God's going to cause you to increase like never before. So who's ready for the open door? The Lord said, Isaiah 22, 22, this is the year of the open door. Lands, properties, buildings. God is giving keys in the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray today that with the prophetic increase broadcast, that you will also be a key of increase. Wherever you go, you will increase. Doesn't matter if you're in Zimbabwe, South Africa, Uganda, in the UK, in the United States. Doesn't matter where you are. You will increase because of the Holy Ghost on the inside of you. My goodness. Prophet, is there anything else you would like to say before we just pray in this moment right now? Uh, no, I think... Um... Just that uh, uh, people need to understand, you know, when you were speaking about the secret place, how important that is, that um, that uh, 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 how important that is where people want to people want to um, want to replace certain essentials. Pastor Lim, where, you know, me and you, you know, uh, I've seen a lot of young people coming up after us and so on. And many don't want to pay the price for the anointing. Many people might see our rising, but they never see, um, you know, they, they they never see what we have gone through before that. They never see how we've chased. The Bible says Elisha ran after the Elijah. He ran after the anointing. I remember when I would chase, if, if, if Pastor Benny Hinn is in South Africa, there would not be a meeting that I would miss. And many of my friends, even minister friends, would sometimes mock me or ask me, why do I always run after this and that? And you know what? Now today I have something that they don't have because I understand the gift and the mantle that people carry. And God works through mantles, uh, but it also, you know, it, you, you like like Pastor Ben was saying, you need to be in the secret place. And when it is that place, as the Lord said to me, where prayer stamina will be increased, how long can you be in a place focused, have your ability to gaze? You see, before G, before Stephen was taken into heaven, before he was dead and he was taken into the baby, and the Bible says that he gazed upon Jesus. He stared. There's the art of gazing. It is one of the keys when it comes to the prophetic on how we operate in the prophetic. But one 
one of the keys to ascension is the art of gazing. So when you when you when you uh, when you br- pray and you have the ability to break through with prayer stamina, meaning you pray one hour, two hour, or four hours, but you get to that place where you break through. The moment ascension begins to take place, that is when the outside noise begins to dull. All of a sudden, you don't hear cars hooting anymore. You don't hear your phone. You don't do your distraction or kids. It's silent. It's like as if your whole atmosphere has shifted, and that is the secret place. And then you're taking to a place of ascension, and that is the place where you see you walk out of that prayer room uh, from a whole different perspective. It is there where the anointing is located. The Bible says in Habakkuk chapter number three, verse four, in the in the lightning and the thunderings, in the presence of God, there in His hand, there His power is hidden. You see uh, uh, Deuteronomy uh, thirty-two, which says, "In the heights and the depths and the realms of the earth, we will suck out honey out of the rock." It is in the high place where the anointing is located, in a place of ascension, and that is where your breakthrough is. And uh, it starts in the secret place. It starts with simple things as sowing and reaping, honoring gifts that has gone before us. There is no way you can operate in an evangelistic anointing without honoring somebody like Billy Graham or Reinhard Bonnke. There's no way we can ever operate in this earth. There are men who have become systems. You see, Isaac became a system of uh, of sowing. Uh, Jacob became a system of uh, of uh, encountering God. You know, you cannot encounter God without knowing the story of Jacob becoming a prince with God, resting with through at night. Then you have men like Pastor Benny Hinn. You cannot you cannot move in the gift of healing in this world without honoring that gift upon that man because he became a system. So you have somebody who has an anointing. Then you have somebody who has a gift. Then you have somebody who has an office. And then you have somebody that becomes a system. That is now when you become so intertwined with God, that God uses your life as a role model for others to follow. My goodness. Somebody say, I am a system. You are a system that's going to disrupt the systems of this world. Listen, people of God, I feel the power and the presence of the Lord so strong. If you're blessed today, if you receive these keys, my goodness, I want you to give some hearts and likes right now. And I want you to share this on your wall because right now, in a few minutes, myself and the prophet, we're going to be releasing prophetic prayer and go into the the realm of the spirit and begin to minister to you, okay? But I want you to just have your level of faith and expectation. Just receive, bask in the glory. I'm not sure if you can hear the music that's coming forth, but I want you to just receive and bask in the glory right now. I want you to begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. The higher you go, the higher the rebel, the level and the realm of the angelic, the higher the greater the level of the angelic host. Thank you, Jesus, for the minute to take over, the domination. You will dominate this season. Whatever comes your way, you will dominate. Whatever comes your way, you will take over from land to land, territory to territory, season to season in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are mantles and impartations being released unto you now. Yes. For an increase in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. My goodness, man of God, listen, I feel so strong right now. Before we begin to pray for some people right now, I, I feel so strong. Listen, if you're blessed today, I want you to say amen. If you receive nuggets, listen, I'm, I received something today, prophet. I received something today. If you're ready for prophetic increase, if you're ready for increase on all sides of your life, I want you to say amen and give us some hearts and likes. Praise God. Listen, in this moment, before the man of God and myself, before we begin to prophesy over a number of you, I want you to take this time to sow into the anointing to sow into the atmosphere. If you received every word today that was released, say amen. My goodness, the atmosphere is ripe and potent. It's so ready for miracles to have a sudden in your life. So if you're ready to receive, say amen. I want you to respond to the Lord. Honor the prophet, prophet Leon. Honor the ministry, the graces that are present here today. Honor this double-double anointing. My goodness, honor this double-double anointing yes. for you today. And we want to open up a time and opportunity for you to sow. Amen. Yes. Praise God. And let me tell you, as you make the decision right now to sow, as you pledge to sow before God, 
All right, we're going to put up uh, on the screen and the comment link the different ways for you to give, okay? As you do so, I want you to comment in the chat group, Mimsa, Mimshak anointing. And how you spell that is M-I-M-S-A-H. I want you to comment the Mimshak anointing, M-I-M-S-A-H. All right, you pledge as you obey the Lord to sow and to give back to his prophets, to his men of God, to his men of God, to the kingdom of, of the Lord. As you saw, I want you to comment Mimshak, and we're going to call out your name in agreement. My goodness, we're going to call your name in agreement. Prophet, any any other words before we just open up this time to sow? Any, any other thoughts, Prophet? No, that's fine. I think I think we can just encourage people here to, to hashtag, just hashtag Mimshak. And uh, to let us know so that we can pray for you. Yes. And uh, I already saw people that says they, they're beginning to sow. And thank you so much, you know. And uh, listen, you're doing it into an atmosphere. Always, I have a rule. I always give off the revelation because you're sealing that revelation that your spirit is receiving. It is a it is a, it is is a a spiritual financial law. It is tapping into Mimshak and is setting the tone for this year. This is a revelation that I believe God wants to take his people in because he wants to take his people into a land of plenty. You know, the, Lord, the, the world is going to experience a year of great famine in 2023 but God's people is going to experience a year of great plenty and a place of Goshen when their ground is fruitful and they're operating in a place of Mimshak so just hashtag even if you spell it wrong it doesn't matter just uh, hashtag Mimshak I see people saying Mimshak Mimshak Lisa Marie thank you so much Megan thank you so much and I see people uh, Richelle uh, Madej thank you so much may, may God bless you I see so many people commenting so just go ahead that right now myself and Pastor Lim is going to pray for you and it is God that is going to that is going to bless you that is going to open up doors you know listen when the world is going into a recession God's people prosper those who are living by the art of sowing and the art of understanding spiritual principles such thing as this I made a statement earlier I said how how um, I can give principles and principles but I cannot remove the fact that in our ministry there were times when my wife and I gave everything you know, sometimes we sold all our furniture. We we didn't have anything. We didn't have houses. We didn't have any properties. Didn't have cars at the time. We gave our car away, the only car we had. And we kept on sowing and sowing until God lifted us to a place of such prosperity and blessing. But it comes out of the secret of sowing. So thank you so much. And may God bless everyone that is giving. Prophet, Prophet, I want you to begin to call out some names here. It's just flooding in right now. Shashika, Hayapurma, God bless you. Cece, Mimshak, Rebecca. God bless you, Tracy, Cole, God bless you, Rochelle Mead, Shalom to you, Gian Kopp, Prophet Ivana Felipe, Serafo, Rosetta Rosa, Prophet, is there any people? Yes, so, so I see on our side, I see um, Adrian, thank you so much, may God bless you, I see Fatima, I see Benji Mubs, may God bless you, I see, uh, I see so many, I see Laura, I see Crystalline, I see Margit, I see Renee, I see Eli, I see... Uh, um, uh, I see Irban, I see Megan, I see Lisa Marie. Thank you so much. Uh, may God bless you, Butamela, Susie, um, Jade. May God bless you. Uh, so many people, so many people writing. That's just a few names that I saw on this side. And I'm gonna carry on Mark calling out as I see Cindy. Uh, thank you so much. Um, Mark Armstrong, Billy Dyson, Corrine, Shatarabasa, Timothy Lodigan, Lori. God bless you with the Mimshak anointing. Yes. Uh, so, so many people listen, listen, tap into this right now. And again, you know, uh, uh, Paul made a very powerful statement, Pastor Ben. He said, he said, I will serve you spiritual things in return for material things. And we always just look at that thing. Okay. That the labor is worthy of his wages, but there's a spiritual principle behind that. God is saying, he's saying there's an exchange taking place between spiritual matter and physical matter. Mm. that the moment that people begin to sow, that opens up an eye, the eyes for revelation to receive spiritual things. You see, spiritual things are received. It is not worked for. It is not taught. It cannot be taught. It has to be received. And the way it is received, Paul is saying, he says, there's an exchange of material things for spiritual things. We are not saying the gift of God can be bought. We are not saying that the anointing can be bought. We are speaking about mysteries. We are speaking about the ability to understand and comprehend comprehend spiritual matter and comprehend secrets, keys to unlock doors, uh, you know, so, uh, and, uh, and that has happened. I see people are still sewing so much. I see Rosie. Thank you so much. G uh, uh, J uh, Jean Cobb. Thank you so much. Uh, JC. Thank you so much. 
Um, so many people, Regi, uh, Regina, thank you so much. May God bless you. Sharon Smith, may God bless you. Alisa, may God bless you. And guys, the de- just to let you, just a reminder, the details I see us uh, on both broadcasts is pinned at the bottom. Uh, Memshak, Sifu, thank you so much. Um, Jennifer, thank you so much. There's, there's a lot of names right now. Uh, Alana, Prophet Sivana, Corrine, Jessa De Luna, God bless you. Robin, yes, Chai, God bless you. Yes, Cindy Lee Davis, Isabel um, Armstrong, uh, 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 Bonita, may God bless you. Um, thank you so much. Let us know if you enjoyed, if you caught the revelation of this word tonight. Praise God. Yes, we're going to give this. So uh, now, also thank you. Here. So before we begin to pray and prophesy over a number of you, so you need to hurry. You need to tap into this before the window and the door is closed. Of course, you can sew after, but there's something about this moment, the, the Cairo moment. There's something about this opportune time. So we're going to give you another minute here so we could call out your name in agreement. Praise God. And if you feel led, you know that this word is free, the Mimshak anointed, the increase, prophetic increase. Then we want you to respond and sow and give back to the Lord and comment Mimshak as you do so for another minute as we continue to call out your name in agreement. Awesome. I see Nelly. I see Nelly van Amarva. Uh, thank you so much, Ray De Beer. Thank you so much, Tash Chanel. Tash Chanel, thank you so much. Um, uh, uh, I see Annette Woodruff. Thank you so much. Uh, people say I received. I sowed. I sowed. Sweet Joe. Thank you so much. And receive Mimshak. It is in your business, in your family, in your finances. You have the ability to take over. Listen, if this anointing works for unbelievers because of certain covenants that they make, this is how music artists in the world would spread. It's under the Mimshak anointing. This was anointing that was originally given to Lucifer. But when he fell, we see how that anointing has come in and God has blessed his people to rise greatly. When this anointing comes upon you, your enemy knows it. Your enemy becomes your friend. Your enemy will sow into your life. Your enemy will give you jobs when this anointing comes into your life it is where the uh it is where the um the uh, 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 uh where god would begin the bible says that he will he, he will he will um he will become an enemy to your enemies uh it is where it is where um it is where uh the the um where enemies, you know, I had, I have a testimony possible. I, I, I remember my wife and I, we sowed, we gave a lot and there was somebody that didn't like our ministry. In fact, I had a big argument with him. They were quite an attacker and enemy of our ministry. And the one night my wife and I, we didn't have a lot of things. We sowed, we just, we had a season of years where we just gave everything continually. And I went to bed and I received a proof of payment on email, uh, coming through. And I saw an amount coming from this person, a very big amount. And I, and I looked at this and I said to my wife, this con, and then five minutes later, I saw another proof of payment coming through of a bank of a bank transfer of the same the same amount same large amount and i said no no this is wrong this this because in south africa a lot of times they fake those um those proof of payments or the the bank transfer so i zoomed in on the image to see if this is correct and and uh, it takes about two or three days for the for the money to come in and i said but this person is an enemy of ours and i said let's just leave it let's not rejoice or do anything by faith unless we are disappointed if it is fake and i said let's just wait two days for the money to come into our account and two days the money came into our account and then I saw other enemies of ours, people that were literally uh, hating our ministry, began to give into our ministry. And the Lord said to me, I will send ravens to you when you're in the place of the brook of Cherith, the place of training, the secret place, when you make your source God and you trust in him, you know, he will make the most selfish animal of his even to come and feed you there. You see, we're living a God, I mean, we're serving a God that wants to bless you with a much, much more. The Bible says that, that, um, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. It doesn't say I shall not need. He says I shall not want. There is wants in your life that you shall that you shall have. You shall not be in want, not be in need. In need is a survival mode. In want means you're in plenteous mode. We serve a God that wants to bless you plenteously. But I see some people, more people commenting here. And may God bless every single one that's sowing into this prophetic anointing. May you receive a prophet's reward. May the anointing that's upon my life, the anointing that's upon Pastor Ben's life, and he carries a strong apostolic anointing. 
anointing as well, traveling nations for many years. You see, when you give into a ministry, you are benefactors of the rewards and the victories of that ministry. We see this in the life of David, how some mighty men stayed at home and others went to battle and both uh, 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 both were um, both were enjoying the spoils of the war. And when you give given this, you will receive a prophet's reward. I pray for the anointing upon my life. When it comes to finances, where God took us from obscurity and suddenly made us to carry prosperity in the eyes of our enemies, in the eyes of our family, in the eyes of many around us, just, and when I say suddenly, it was a suddenly that happened. It was as if you're winning the jackpot. If my God can do it, may my God supply all your needs in Jesus' mighty name. He was saying, I sowed, I sowed. Thank you so much. Well, Prophet, listen, uh, I know we're, we're running low on time right now, but yes. uh, let's just begin to flow into some prophetic prayer ministry. Praise God. Hallelujah. And as we pray in the Holy Ghost right now, as we're preparing in this moment, I just want to make a few quick announcements. Praise God. Um, I want to, I, I do have a few events coming up very soon. And my goodness, Prophet, so powerful, so deep. I received so much word of revelation myself. So thank you so much. Uh, but I, I have a few events coming up, and I want you to stay on because right after this, myself and a prophet, we're going to minister over a number of you personally in the spirit, praise God. So our first event, of course, actually next Monday, I'm doing a webinar, a Zoominar on angelology. We're going to talk about different types of angels, how to activate angels, the realm of angels. Many people talk about demonology. However, there's less talk and less sound grounded biblical teaching on angelology so that's going to be next monday uh, for uh, for those in south africa that's 4 a.m prophet believe it or not but we have many safas many people from south africa joining in for our our webinars you know at 4 a.m in the morning so it's going wow. to be powerful so we want you to join we're going to talk about the angelic realm how to activate and how to move and how to discern and what type of rankings and types of angels there yes. are God, wonderful afterwards we have our next webinar on the anointing we're going to talk about the personhood the personality the power the purity of the anointing what is the anointing how do you grow in the anointing and i love what prophet leon said there's an anointing and the anointing and that is a wonderful way of deciphering and to teach and to present it so that's going to be our next webinar praise god and then afterwards of course we have our conference coming up uh, the apostolic voices. All right. You don't want to miss this. And even though many of you maybe in Africa, you can log in to view this. You can log in to be a part of our private online viewing company on apostolic voices is myself. Apostle Chuck Pierce is going to be sending us by via zoom. Uh, we have Dr. Jolene Whitaker and we have Apostle Chasden Strickland and myself. We have Miss Natasha Hen. Pastor Benny's daughter that's going to be leading anointed worship. So this conference is going to be a game changer. And of course, this is right around uh, Pentecost season, Shavuot. So we want you to join. All right. It's going to be powerful. Praise God. I don't know, Prophet. I might have to get you to send us a short video as well. So. <laughs> uh, this is going to be powerful. So we want you to join and be a part of this. Amen. Amen. And amen. Listen, Prophet, I want you just as you feel led, I want you to just minister over a few people as you feel led man of god and i know uh, are you do you have my page or your page opened up right now yes i've got yours and mine open here praise so god. i'm gonna be ministering to 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 yeah yes i got both open here praise god yes sir so i know uh, my crowd is uh, probably new to you or not as familiar with you so um you know if you feel the liberty i, I would love for you to begin to minister to our yes. crowd here and then uh, I can minister to your crowd. No problem. No, we got it. Yes. So, so, so we're going to, I want you wherever you are right now, just to raise your hands to the Lord. I want you to raise your hands to the screen, touch the screen, however you want to do it. But I want you to be in a place of surrender. I want you to be in a place of receiving right now in a place of ascension. Let the glory of the, of, of the Lord, let the glory of the Lord come into your house. Let the atmosphere be shifted. You know, as Pastor Ben was speaking about angelology, it's so important. A lot of people speak about demons and what we speak, we give power to it. And people don't understand that a lack of angelic visitations is because of the lack of talking about angels. The more you talk and the more you are aware of angels, the more they will visit and the more they will appear to you. Angels are very sensitive beings. Uh, and But we give so much glory and honor to demons when we 
do demonology and, and everybody knows they always walk into a house and they see, they say, oh, I, you know, there's demons here, but we never speak whether a presence that was present is an angel or not. You, you know, an uh, angel will come in and you'll think it is a demon because it'll be fearful. And there are different, very diff- a lot of different realms and levels of manifestation of angels and how they are, how they are coming from the, a, 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 a spiritual world into a material world and manifesting and how they come with a message or just appearing. And, and uh, you know, that is a very, very good conference. And it is very important. The people of God need to understand angels more uh, because a lot of times when we just mention angels, people cry and they say, oh, you know, we're into angel worship and this and that. No, it is the early church, the New Testament church worshiped with angels. They were so used to angels. They even said about Peter that they were, they just closed the door to Peter's angel. You know, we see how they were familiar with angels and we need to get into that place where we understand that we are in Mount Zion. We're in the company of innumerable angels. And, uh, you you know, even as we pray right now, I pray that angels will be in your house, the ministry angels, financial angels, that angels of the office of a prophet will be ministering right now to you in your houses. That right now, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, let the eyes of my spirit be enlightened. Let the eyes of my understanding be enlightened. Let those we're ministering to right now, even the visions that I'm seeing, may you minister to your people. May the hand of God rest upon them. Those who are surrendered, may a tangible, transferable substance, the anointing of the Holy Ghost, come through the screen and minister to them. Let them feel the atmosphere of heaven. Let them feel the atmosphere of God. Let them feel the atmosphere of angels where they are right now. May angels begin to minister. May oil, many of them will begin to see and sense oil on their hands and oil on their faces. Many will sense like hot oil on their heads coming down of the prayer presence of angels and the ministering angels that is present to them right now. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that those who are watching, that their finances will be opened, that properties will be given to them. I saw names on here and I want to begin to minister. I see right here, Ivana is saying we are in Mount Zion. Ivana, this is what the Lord is showing me, that there's going to be a promotion coming upon your life where I see that an ascension is going to take place for the Lord has given you uh, the ability to enter into the throne room of heaven. And there will be a promotion which is going to take you into a higher level for the Lord is saying, I've seen you sacrifice many years. I saw you like 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 giving up a lot or packing up a lot of things to make a decision to follow the Lord. And the Lord is saying, I have not, I have not turned a blind eye to this. I have not turned a deaf ear to it. I will cause the anointing to be increased upon your life because you'll become a pillar where you are. And the Lord is saying, I shall cause you to expand and I shall cause the anointing of increase to come upon your life. Because I looked and I saw a property and I saw a property opening and properties opening. For the Lord is saying, look at five years from now. I'll cause your wings to have spread and you shall say oh my god is this possible that i shall be able to to spread like that i just saw your name on here so and i want you if i prophesy i want to ask people just with my flow i want you to comment and uh, respond as i'm prophesying to you it, it just helps my spirit and the prophecy i can become i can be general it, depending on how the word of the lord is or i can go into very specifics and if i go into specifics i want you to please uh to please uh, just respond it just helps my spirit to really go deeper and as the holy spirit wills you know it is so difficult we did a telegram prophecy Day. And we had over 4,000 live viewers. We had over 50,000 comments. It was a private platform of Telegram. And uh, uh, people don't understand there's no pictures on Telegram. So you just have a name. And, uh, you know, to, as a prophet, you want to at least see a person or know so that you can just identify. And that's how it works in the prophetic. But just to see a name, you have to enter into another realm. It is very uh, difficult. So, you know, it helps when there's a response because in person, when we prophesy, we get a response from people. But I saw that with you. I think it was uh, Yvonne or Ivana. Ivana, yes. I saw that Ivana, I saw the Lord is going to bring an expansion. Let me look at property. And then I saw something like uh, the Lord is showing me a family that is going to be rich for the power of God. Um, I saw how there was a certain area of division, but the Lord is going to bring a unity. And I saw a great uh, blessing coming upon family. I saw either whether you have a daughter or will have a daughter in the future. But I saw a young girl that the Lord is going to anoint in in years to come and i saw how the lord is going to put a voice on this young girl and uh it's going to uh there's going to be a strong anointing that is going to come upon him this word is in relation to your future just uh again uh, write it down because of for the sake of time i'm not going to get into too much details i just want to read the word of the lord and i see let me just see some some more names here 
So she says the word is eating a spirit. Very accurate about Prophet Ivana. She's one of the prophets in our church and that's very accurate. All on the point. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm just going through names real quickly. So I don't, I, I know no one on your stream yet as I'm looking through the names. Um, okay. And family hasn't, I want you just to take that word. And, um, but uh, this, 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 uh, this, a ministry or a voice that the Lord is going to expand uh, in you. And I said, he's going to make you a pillar. I saw a name here just now. Let me just, uh, just give me a few seconds. Let me know if you want a prophecy. I saw somebody here. Um, not if you want obviously we're led by the spirit of god but i'm just looking at the mond here i saw marjorie or something someone like that yes marjorie uh-huh marjorie marjorie yeah i see oh, marjorie says amen marjorie bellow marjorie bellow marjorie i know it might sound uh similar to to yvonne or yvonne's word but i'm looking because all i can see is just your little photo here and I need to just have a visual presentation to see something for the Lord. Is, I looked in the immediately the moment I saw your name, I saw something like properties opening for you. And I'm I'm getting again by properties because as I prophesied this year, I heard the Lord speaking to me many times how he wants to bless his people with properties. He wants to bless his people with land. But I saw with you, I saw properties. And then the Lord said to me something like, there's going to be a touching of uh, events or something like that, where um, uh, 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 there's an anointing when it comes to business. There's an anointing, there's, an, there's a gift in a certain area of oil where the oil is really dripping in your life. When it has the ability of business on networking the ability to network and the lord is going to put favor upon you to lift you very high he's going to give you favor in the uh in with people that that it would look like they can't be favored with because i saw uncommon favor coming upon your life he shall raise you amongst kings he shall give you words and the articulation of words to speak to people and be put into a place of favor it was like i looked at uh it was like i look at like at Queen Esther who received favor in front of the king that uh, that even though Esther was very old when we look at the story of Esther 75 years old and she was in the midst of 16 year olds and uh, the king's eyes could not look at the 16 beautiful uh, pageant girls that were there but looked and locked with the beauty of Queen Esther and uh, because of favor which we call uh, uh, which we call um, uh, the Ratson anointing is the anointing to take over it's the anointing where the eyes of those who are in places of favor is located on you and cannot go off you and i saw this anointing coming upon your life and the lord is saying favor will come upon you because of this you shall see properties i'm looking at like i'm looking at specific property that is very that's white like white and i'm seeing like a double story or something in front of me and when i say these things you know i prophesied to to uh, we have a we have a prophetic partners retreat this weekend this is not an advertising call because it's already closed and registration already closed and done deal but we last year we did it we prophesied through the night and i wrote in a piece of paper and i said to a person I said, I said, uh, I wrote the name of a person down. I said, there'll be a divine connection and you'll be doing a jewelry business with this person. A year later, they met the person. They got married to the person. I said, divine relationship and they have a jewelry business with a person. Now it is, it is, it is your fourth telling in the prof in the prophetic, your foretelling, and then you have forthcoming fourth telling foretelling and forthcoming is three realms of the prophetic so when we prophesy we prophesy past we prophesy present and we prophesy future i saw somebody as i was praying right now i saw somebody very specifically that we need to pray for there was in a car accident i saw the color red now i don't know if it is a red car or if it is a white car but it's a i saw the color red and uh, i saw a car accident and i saw injuries in the body with car accident but the lord is saying to me that there's a spirit that is operating behind this family or this uh, 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 uh family or that is this individual that i'm speaking right now that uh that um is operating behind them and the and uh, and it wants to come with car accidents and take out other family members and this person that right now you can let me know if that is you and that i break the power of the that spirit that has tried to remove your breath from this planet and try to remove your face from this planet and your destiny from this planet. The enemy has tried to remove you because of a treasure that is inside of you. But this spirit that has come from family members before where it has tried to take out uh, people and as I see the spirit of death, I see like siblings or other family members, um, how this spirit of car accidents wants to come in and remove. But I saw this very specific car accident. I saw the color 
read. And right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I break the power of every curse in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who are on here right now, and I want to pray for healing for those on, 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 on your broadcast, uh, Pastor Ben. Uh, those with healing very specifically when it comes to back and neck healings. And we're going to get now to one or two others, but just back and neck and kidneys, back, neck and kidneys, back, neck and kidneys right now. I want you to put your hand upon that place where you are right now. Now, we have seen, same as Pastor Ben, I know he has an incredible gift of healing uh, on his life. We have seen uh, so many healings uh, online or oh, in person. God, we have seen so many healings when it comes to back, neck, uh, hips, those type of healings. Hundreds and hundreds we have seen happening. Uh, deliverances we're not even going to get into tonight because of uh, the sake of time. But I want you to put your hand on that place of your back or your neck where you need healing and uh and right now in the name of jesus christ father i pray may the anointing rest upon them right now i command healing to come i bind every spirit of infirmity i break the power of every curse and spirit of infirmity in the name of jesus christ every hindering spirit that tries to hinder the work of the gospel upon their lives because of infirmity and every spirit of car accident, every spirit of generational sickness and bloodline curse, I command it to be healed. We command the miracle working power of God right now upon their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command the body parts to move right now and pain to go in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want you to move that part of your body, move that part of your body that you couldn't move before and receive your healing. It is by the working, the gift of the working of miracles. So you have to work that's medical. So listen to this. Listen to this, uh, Pastor Ben. Ivana saying, I had a car accident in my red car a couple of years ago. That's right, yeah. And now a car is white. And a lot of times in the prophetic, I might prophesy over one person, move on to the next and get something that might still be connected to that person. That is a lot of times in my prophetic ministry like that. Sometimes I'll prophesy over two person, people, do one thing over the second one, but it's still ref referencing to the first person. You know, so I want you to, 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 to receive that. Uh, Pastor Ben, do you want to, is there anything that you, that you have? Yes, I just want to release a corporate prayer. I know right now that many of you, I mean, the prophetic's flowing, the power of God is flowing. But I believe right now God is going to blanket you with increase and promotion. I want to pray specifically for those people that have businesses and that are entrepreneurs, that God is raising up in this hour to be financially independent and to be a lender, not to borrow, to be the giver. I want to pray for that because it is a Joseph's anointing. So if that's you, I want you to come and that's me and lift up your hands. Lord, we thank you. We come in agreement that you will begin to anoint them, to take over, give them lands and territories, and that the power and the fire of Jesus will come upon them. Hallelujah. Um, I see somebody here on Prophet Leon's page here. Shata Rabba Karabroskata. Thank you. Thank you. Megan Shannon, Emily Maestri. Megan Shannon, Emily Maestri. I see over you, Megan. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. I see an angel of the Lord. And you just comment on Prophet Leon's page. I see an angel of the Lord just standing right behind you. And this angel is bringing the crooked places into alignment. So I hear God saying, I'm strengthening out things in your life. I, I see where, you know, there were some relationships or doors that were shut uh, recently. I, I keep seeing the number three. It's almost like three months or three doors. And God is saying, even in the season, Megan, uh, don't cry. Uh, for what was lost or what took place because I'm going to open up doors of favor and I hear the Lord saying this angel is going to make the crooked places straight in your life and in fact I see God preparing a way for you and the Bible says get ready for runway like a runway model get ready for runways and for runway model I see a red carpet I see lights camera action I see filming I see video I see broadcast so God says there is an anointing for Hollywood. There's an anointing for media. But even in this season, God is doing a deeper, greater inner work on the inside where he's building your foundation with confidence and security so that it would only and always be about Jesus. And I even see like an uprooting where something happened where you got uprooted out of a job or out of a contract or something. And it was literally uh, the realm of God's deliverance where he uprooted you out of Egypt because God is about to 
put you into a new place, into a new space. So, Father, I thank you for your daughter, Megan, and I thank you for the fire and the power of God that you're preparing the runway. You're preparing the red carpet. You're preparing a way where there seems to be no way. Rivers flow in the wilderness in the name of Jesus. So, Miss Megan, uh, what that name, praise God. She says, thank you, Lord. I want you, Zedeb, I want you to comment and just respond if you receive that word, if that word makes sense to you. Hallelujah. And I want to pray for one more person on the prophet's broadcast here, and then I'm going to give it back to you, prophet. Praise God. And then we're going to close in a little bit. So I want you to just stay here and just stay with the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Locate your people now. Find your people now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All right, Tilly Becker. Tilly Becker, I see Tilly. And uh, once again, Miss Megan, I want you to just respond there. I see uh, Tilly, Tilly Becker, Tilly Becker. I see where there's a prophetic grace on your life and there's a prophetic ministry. And even in this season, God is saying to you, Tilly Becker, I'm going to expand you and your ministry, your influence. You've been crying out, asking the Lord, can you open, expand my territory? Can you open up doors in my life? And I see Tilly Becker that God's even releasing healing to you and to your body. I see healing virtue. I'm not sure if it's your, I believe it's God showing me your neck, your back, carpal tunnel, arthritis, your knees, but God is releasing healing into your body right now, Tilly Becker. And now in the name of Jesus, says God, I'm going to release a fire that's going to curse the witchcraft and the curses and your enemies. Because even in the last season, you've had people betraying you, backstabbing you, turning their backs against you, and speaking word curses over you and against you. But we bind it and we break it now, says God. Is it? And Tilly Becker, the Lord is about to, I believe there's something of covering, of apostolic covering. Uh, I'm not sure if if uh, uh, Prophet Leon is your, your man of God or your general. However, I believe that God is saying, that I'm expanding your covering. There's a new covering you're going to come up into Tilly Becker so that you can receive greater grace, greater impartations, greater protection. Because God is saying, I'm going to release a covering of protection over you so that there will be no open doors to be vulnerable and exposed to the enemy. So Lord, I thank you for Tilly Becker for expansion, healing in the body, healing in the body, Lord. Shita Raboka, healing in the marriage. And I hear God saying, I'm also releasing healing into the family. I'm going to heal and I'm going to restore your family and your marriage. In the name of Jesus, from the top of your head to the soles of your feet, somebody say hallelujah. Tilly back again. I want you to respond here. Praise God. Uh, as we move on, as Prophet Leon and uh, Prophet, yes. Is there anybody else you feel led? Yes, yes, I see. I see uh, Shalma D'Souza uh, commenting here saying prophetic encounter. I saw someone, Sekebo, uh, I think Sekebo, so, someone like that. Uh, I want to, I want to, on, 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 on your broadcast there, I want to just minister to those two. I just saw the names here. And the, the two things, one thing I'm seeing with both names, I saw the prophetic. Now, I want you to comment for me here. I saw the prophetic. I saw D'Souza. Uh, let me just see her. Uh, because the comments go a bit fast. Let me just see. Huh? Yes. D'Souza. Is, it, is that right? Shalman D'Souza. And then I saw Sekebo. And when I saw those two names, I just the Lord showing me that there's a prophetic anointing that's going to be placed upon you. Sekebo, when I look at, uh, when I, when I, when I, when I, when I, when I looked at your name, I said, the Lord said to me, I've called you as a prophet, even from a young age. And I'll take you and I'll connect you. And I'll raise you up, even how the end, doesn't matter how, what the enemy is trying to do. When I look at D'Souza, I looked at the area of prophetic and I saw business. Prophetic intercession and I saw business. 
uh, prophetic intercession I saw business and uh, with this Susa I looked and the Lord saying to me an angel will go before you to make a way for you to prepare a way for you in which you will go and prepare a place for you ahead for protection you shall make way and the, and the Lord is going to become an enemy to your enemies but I saw a blessing coming through I saw Sekebo now so I'm going bit back and forth between the Susa and Sekebo but I saw Sekebo I saw how there was struggle there was much struggle when it comes in family there was much struggle when it comes in life in success but the Lord is saying I shall even give you papers and I shall cause you I saw red lines going over a map and I saw how you begin to travel and how doors will open up for you because you've had visions and you had dreams of how these things will come to pass uh, D'Souza I think D'Souza was commenting and said prophetic encounter eh? so I saw um, uh, I think she was commenting that and I saw the, the anointing on D'Souza and both on Sekeba I saw prophetic but let me just take one more let me just take one more name yeah, she who is that? Jean de Souza says that's that's right. Marjorie, I think Marjorie, I said earlier I spoke about business. I want to tell you I saw business and I saw this anointing, an incredible gift when it comes to networking. When I mentioned the networking part, the Lord is gonna is an anointing to network in the area of ministry. And uh, uh, there's an incredible gift that is still going to grow very strong. And uh, uh, I saw your face going on certain media things. Uh, when I said the word events, I saw your face going on certain media. Sharma D'Souza says, I mean, I receive. Uh, 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 uh. Chad Fenton says, bless you, Prophet Don. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Kimberly says, release me more patience when it comes to traditional ignorance. Lola De Hero. I just want to wait a few seconds. I just want to, I'm just reading the names and I'm just waiting for someone to pop to pop up because the Lord is ministering to me about somebody here that is going to release from a certain limitation. So I want you to comment right now. Becky McAlfresh, Becky McAlfresh, I can't see your picture. I just see a bunch of writing. So I don't see you having a picture there, but Becky McAlfresh, uh, the Lord is going to cause a lot of laboring that you have done in the spirit to come forth in the fruit of your loins because I saw the Lord is showing me how your seed seed will be blessed and he's taking your prayers and causing it to become intercessory because um, it has felt like sometimes like uh, God is an answering with certain prayers or this or that and you've put your full trust in him but the Lord is saying see how I will bless people around you and many will prosper because of your prayers because of promises that you have stood upon because of promises that uh, you have said that you're going to hold God gone on to and I saw how you'll be allowed into the throne room and the Lord is saying I'm going to allow certain privileges to come to you but your praise has come up as a sweet smelling aroma before my throne and I saw you writing these promises out of God promises and promises promises upon people and your words of prayer is going to infect many people with the spirit and the power of God because I saw when I looked at D'Souza uh, let me get back to D'Souza I saw the spirit and the power of Elijah coming upon you which is the spirit of prophecy and the spirit of prayer for the Lord is saying see how I will baptize you with the spirit of uh, of intercession the spirit of of, of prayer and supplication and the spirit of prophecy for open your mouth and I'll cause my spirit to be in your mouth and I shall cause a shout out for there has been a division and there has been a lot of uh, words that has gone forth when it comes in a workplace or when it comes into a, like a social or a workplace that has tried to cause harm and has tried to cause trouble but the Lord is saying I shall come in and I shall have vengeance because you've had dreams where you've said but Lord I know that this is a dream from you when it comes to direction the Lord is saying you shall, I shall stand Stand behind you like a voice. You shall hear a voice that shall speak to you and say, go left and go right. Take this direction. For even in dreams and even in the next two weeks, there shall be a dream that shall be very specific to you. And the Lord is saying, in that dream is hidden and concealed. The glory of God is a secret for you that shall unlock certain things. My goodness. My goodness. Praise God. All of you who are receiving right now say amen. My goodness. You know, let me tell you. Prophet Leon, you are the real deal, and I'm so blessed, honored to know you personally and to call you a friend and brother in the gospel. And of course, both of us, you know, we're still young in age, and we still have much to go, much further to go, more nations to conquer for Jesus, more souls to save. And uh, it's just such an incredible journey, exciting journey. We love you, man of God. Can we give it up for Prophet Leon, my goodness, for just pouring out? My goodness. Prophet, we love you, sir, and uh, I know our people, and uh, just the convergence again, coming together. Yes. There's something powerful that God does, and we don't take it lightly, because 
you know, we understand that we cannot partner or connect with anybody and everybody. There has to be the similar type of grace. There has to be an agreement. And uh, we're so grateful for what God's doing in South Africa and the United States and together in Jesus' name. I believe U.S. and S.A. will continue to run together in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, Prophet, I'm so blessed. Uh, do you have any last words you want to say before... Oh. Uh, you just close and, uh, you know, how can people find you, follow you? I know, you know, we have people on our page, your page, but how can people follow you and, and any yes. event, anything you want to talk about that they can find, follow uh, for your upcoming online events, etc. Yes. Of course, you can follow me on my Facebook page, which is Leon de Priya. And I'm sure if you just type it in, you'll find us at the top. Uh, Leon de Priya, it's got, I think, 300 or so thousand followers on. Uh, please follow us on our YouTube channel. I want to really ask you that. It's also Leon de Priya. Just type in Leon Priya on YouTube and you'll find the link there. Or you'll find our channel there. I want to ask you to please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell. That really helps us. We have a large crowd on YouTube, a large following on YouTube. We prophesied uh, 2020, uh, C19, before it happened, in we prophesied in 2019 to the month of when the shutdown will take place. The churches will be persecuted. Uh, you know, we release a lot of prophecies on there. And then so everything's based on our Facebook and our YouTube, but we also have our website, which is... Uh, uh, Leon de Priya, my name, my name and surname, dot com. Leon de Priya dot com. And on there is all our connections and what we are doing and events and our churches is connected to there. From there, you can get our church website, which is Encounter Church in South Africa with a variety of church plants and, and God is doing a good work. But that is how you can connect. But I want to ask you very much, uh, if you can follow us, subscribe to us on YouTube, that'll be a great blessing. Praise God. I want everybody who's on our page, I want you to follow Prophet Leo. On, um, <clears throat> that is following from our side. You can follow uh, Pastor Ben on, um, I, I, you have to pay, I, I, your, 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 your page is just Ben Lim on, on Facebook, eh? Correct, yes. Ben Lim on Facebook and that's like a green and white background with your face. I know uh, that's the one. And um, uh, 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 please follow his pages and he'll give the information now on, on how to follow him more and well. But those on my side, he's got a great ministry connected with a lot of people, a lot of ministers, great ministers. And there's a strong anointing on his life. And, you know, please do follow him. But you can say what is the best way, you know. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um Ben Lim on Facebook uh, or Ben Lim Global on TikTok. We just started TikTok. Please follow us there, YouTube and Instagram. And let me tell you, there's so much that God's doing right now. I mean, it's truly a time of uh, unstoppable increase. So uh, you can just Google me as well, Ben Lim. Just type in Ben Lim and praise God. You know, uh, we're all over the SEOs. Amen. Uh, good things as well. Not the hater aid, not the critics. Amen. But uh, just Google <laughs> me and just follow us. And we appreciate the follow. We love South Africa. We love the continent of Africa, and uh, we look forward to even returning back to Cape Town, Johannesburg, etc. in due time in Jesus' name. Prophet Leon, thank you so much, sir. We love you. We honor you. Appreciate you so much. And we'll have to do this again soon. Yes. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Pastor Ben. Appreciate it. Love you. God bless you, Prophet. Let's give it up for the man of God, Prophet Leon Dupria. My goodness, so rich, so deep. So on point, who received today, amen? Who is ready for the Mimshak prophetic increase anointing, amen? Listen, people of God, once again, I want to remind you next Monday, we are doing our angelology webinar. I want you to join. We're going to talk about all things angelic. We're going to talk about types of angels, ranking of angels, the hierarchy of angels, how to activate, move with the angels of God, and uh, even how to understand your own personal angels that have been assigned to you at birth. So Monday, we're going to go into angelology in South Africa. I believe that's 3 or 4 a.m. Uh, time. And uh, we have many people from South Africa join our Zoom webinars. They're so rich, so deep. We're going to go literally about three to four hours. And there will be personal ministry as well. Our next webinar after that is on the anointing. We're going to talk about the person of the anointing, the personality, the power, the purity. There's even false anointings, false Christ. We're going to talk about all things concerning the anointing. And we want you to join uh, that webinar because it's going to be so powerful and so dynamic. Uh, and I'm telling you, the anointing, the grace of God is being released in these days. And, of course, we do have a great conference coming up in the month of May called the App Open Heavens Apostolic Voices. We have Apostle Chuck Pierce uh, sending us a private Zoom video. We have Dr. Prophet Johnny Whitaker. And also we have Apostle Chazen Strickland, myself, 
Miss Natasha Hen, the daughter of Pastor Benny Hen, uh, will be singing and leading in worship. There's going to be a setup atmosphere for the apostolic to arise like never before. So we welcome you. We invite you. We hope to see you soon. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lynn. Love you, bless you, and get ready for your prophetic increase. Until next time, God bless.